out the 18th floor window six blocks away on what must be the 20th story of a building on 6th Avenue is a billboard containing an image of a young African woman with short cropped hair. The image shows her just from the shoulders up, her face over her white open collared shirt against an overexposed background of white light. The billboard is a six-story tall rectangle. The woman appears as having just spoken, with lips parted and eyes fixed on someone beyond the crimped picture plane. No words or logos are visible. This human image is set amidst dense panorama of buildings and skyscrapers, water tanks and rooftops, no other humanity visible. In this setting, the billboard advocates the presence of humans in an inhumane environment. The image of the woman seems proprietary and apologetic. As a photo, the billboard is a cross between fashion, film still, and document, and advertisement taking its cue from higher forms of photographic endeavor. The body language is really that of a person who has asked a question and with very open eyes waits for a response. She wants an answer. So she is vulnerable in a way. That makes the billboard's location high up on the side of the building and the woman's posture vulnerable to disappointment or to being ignored refer to how exposed one is in the immediate environment and there, alone, high amidst the earless, tongueless, unwarm, inorganic indifference of the buildings, she is an image of loss and isolation. The reply she awaits is withheld, harshly silent. What she wants will not be gained by inquiry. Whoever conceived and manufactured this image, whoever chose to set it against the particular backdrop, exasperates human diminution through the very inversion of scale by articulating an inconcluded dialogue by the image's material conceit which may be economically rational, but is nevertheless practically deluded. In a way, the whole image, the cityscape with a large label of a human face on it, represents a weird packaging design. Humans themselves, as commodity mobilized, contained, and made decantable by the very architecture of the urban zone. I never thought of a building as being like a huge peanut butter jar, an icon that both solicits appetite and delimits its fulfillment.